In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We will go unto the altar of God. God Our help is in the name of the Lord. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us confess our sins to God and prepare ourselves that we might be found worthy to participate in this holy sacrifice. And now please make an examination of conscience. Having confessed our sins to God and asking for his forgiveness, let us recite this morning the second act of confession. I confess to Almighty God, one in the Holy Trinity, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned in thought, word, and deed, by my fault, by my fault, by my own great fault. I ask the Blessed Mother Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, <clears throat> forgive us of our sins, and bring us unto life everlasting. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, and remission of our sins. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O God, you will again renew us. And your people will rejoice in you. Show us your mercy, Lord. And grant us your salvation. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Take our sins away from us, Lord, so that we might enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Save us, Lord our God, gather us from among the nations. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now, and shall we <coughs> Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father. Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Father in heaven, as your church gathers in prayer, may we accept the presence of your Son. Bless this people with the gift of your kingdom, that we may show love for one another, even as you have loved us. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity, with the Holy Spirit and our one God, forever and ever. Amen.
pillar of iron, a wall of brass, against the whole land, against Judah's kings and princes, against its priests and people. They will fight against you, but will not prevail over you. For I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, God. The gradual. Jesus spoke to them again, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts, but I shall show you a still more excellent way. If I speak in human and angelic tongues, but don't have love, I'm a resounding gong or a clashing cymbal. And if I have the gift of prophecy and comprehend all mysteries and all knowledge, if I have all faith so as to move mountains, but I don't have love, then I'm nothing. If I give away everything I own, and if I hand my body over so that I may boast, but don't have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not jealous, it is not pompous, it is not inflated, it is not rude. It does not seek its own interests. It is not quick-tempered. It does not brood over injury. It does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. If there are prophecies, they'll be brought to nothing. If tongues, they will cease. If knowledge, they will be brought to nothing. For we know partially, we prophesy partially. But when the perfect comes, the partial will pass away. When I was a child, I used to talk as a child, think as a child, reason as a child. When I became a man, I put aside childish things. At present, we see indistinctly as in a mirror but then face to face. At present I know partially, then I shall know fully, as I am fully known. So faith, hope, and love remain, these three, but the greatest of these is love. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph? Do we not know his father and mother? Alleluia, alleluia. Almighty and eternal God, who cleansed the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. Through Christ our Lord, amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the holy gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus began speaking in the synagogue, saying, Today the scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing. And all spoke kindly of him, and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. They also asked, Isn't this the son of Joseph? He said to them, Surely you will quote me this proverb, Physician, cure yourself, and say, Do hear in your native place the things that we heard were done in Calphurnia. And he said, Amen, I say to you, No prophet is accepted in his own native place. Indeed, I tell you that were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the sky was closed for three and a half years, and a severe famine spread over the entire land. It was to none of these that Elijah was sent, but only to a widow in Zarephath, in the land of Sidon, 
Again, there were many lepers in Israel during the time of Elisha, the prophet. Yet not one of them was cleansed, but only Naaman, the Syrian. When the people in the synagogue heard this, they were filled with fury. They rose up, drove him out of the town, and led him to the brow of the hill on which their town had been built to hurl him down headlong. But Jesus passed through the midst of them and went away. The Gospel of the Lord. Amen to you, my dear brothers and sisters gathered in this house of God. A couple of weeks ago, we started talking about the first letter of St. Paul, the Apostle, in his letter to the church at Corinth. He spoke about the one spirit, and there were different manifestations of that spirit. He spoke that there are different ministries, but yet the same spirit. Last week, we spoke about the, the parts of the body in which we are all called upon collectively to build up the kingdom of God here on earth. Today, we speak about not only the one spirit and the different manifestations, and not only of the importance of the body and how they relate to the building of God's kingdom on earth. And we do not necessarily speak as we spoke of the different ministries that Paul had, had given examples to. We find that is, Paul said, now you are Christ's body and individually parts of it. And he talks about that there are different ministries. He says, some people God has designated in the church to be first apostles, second prophets, third teachers, then mighty deeds, the gifts of healing, assistance, administration, and the variety of tongues. You know, Paul was a persecutor of the church, and there was a conversion that took place on the road to Damascus. We further read, as we read, have read in the, this week's bulletin, that Paul was given the gift of healing. And so, as he saw throughout the church that different people were getting different gifts and it wasn't something that he just made up. In today's gospel, he speaks and he says, strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts. And he said, but I will show you a more excellent way. The 13th chapter of the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians is one of the most important scripture passages. And so, 
in, in lieu of what St. Paul was talking about, the different gifts that were, given, that were being given to different people to edify the church and to sanctify the individual, he goes with the famous lines. He said, if I speak in human and angelic tongues, which was a gift that he spoke about, but do not have the love, I am a resounding gong or a clanking cymbal. And if I have the gift of prophecy, which was also a gift of the one spirit, and he says, I can comprehend all mysteries and of all knowledge. And if I have all faith, so as to move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. And he says, and if I give everything away that I own, and if I hand my body over so that I may boast, but I do not have love, I gain nothing. One of the most important New Testament books is the first letter of John, in which he speaks of love. That it was out of love that God created the heavens and the earth. It was out of love that God created us and placed us above all other creatures. And that we have the opportunity to fully understand the gift of love that God gives to us. The definition of love, we read, love is patient. Are we patient with others? Love is kind. Are we kind to others in the Christian spirit? He says that love is not jealous. It is not pompous. It's not inflated. It's not rude. It does not seek its own. It's not quick-tempered. It does not brood over injury. It does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. How brilliant. Paul is giving us the parameters and saying that if we truly love as God loves us, that the definition of love he puts forth. You know, God used Paul, the last of the apostles. Each of the apostles had their own different ministries. Each of the apostles went to the four corners of the earth, had suffered martyrdom, including Paul. The only one was St. John, the beloved, who died of a natural death. But Paul was to play a very important part in the building up of the church because as a student in which he understood rabbinical laws, God elevated him to a higher understanding in which he became the author of the majority of the books that are found in the New Testament. Fourteen letters are attributed to Paul. Think of what the New Testament would be like if they did not have the writings of Paul. The gospel of Jesus Christ stands by its own, but Paul was to give it in the, the sayings of Jesus in a more practical way that speaks about the, the morals and the attitudes that a Christian has. And so, my brothers and sisters, may we reflect on what is true love, the kind of love that God has for each and every single one of us. And may it serve as a standard by which we judge ourselves, and not only how we love ourselves, but most importantly, in how we love other people. May God give us the wisdom and the insight to be able to understand that pure spiritual love, and may from that spiritual love May we grow ever higher to be enlightened into the truth that God gives to us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the name of Jesus Christ be praised by all of us, now and forevermore. Amen.
I be he leaving, one on God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from the light, true God from true God, begotten, not made of one being with the Father, through him all things are made for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again. In fulfillment of the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Please be seated. <coughs> Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor, except in his native place, and among his own kin, and in his own home. my brothers and sisters, that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted this day by God, our Heavenly Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, may we who place the sacrifice before you be moved to honor those who proclaim your word within our midst. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Amen. The whole Lord be with you. And also you. Lift up your poor hearts. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. Father. 
Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. Through his cross and resurrection, he freed us from sin and death and called us to the glory that has made us a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, and a people set apart. Everywhere we proclaim your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. Therefore, we he join this day with the angels and archangels, with all the saints and the entire church, and we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the, in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the heights. Please be seated. Most merciful Father, we most humbly pray and ask you through Jesus Christ your Son, our Lord, to accept and to bless these gifts, these presents, these holy and spotless sacrifices which we offer to you in the first place for your holy Catholic Church that you would guide it in peace, in defense, and unity throughout the whole world with its bishops and priests, especially for Anthony, our prime bishop, and Paul, our bishop, and all who profess the true Orthodox and Catholic faith which comes to us from the apostles. Remember your servants, O Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, in our prayers, let us pray for the sick, the suffering, and the dying, the hungry, the homeless, and the unemployed. May we pray for all those who are suffering from the coronavirus and pray for not only their health, but the wellness of their families. May we give God our Father, thanks for all the blessings of the doctors and nurses, first responders, and healthcare workers who strive daily to help and to save others. In our deepest prayers this day, may we remember all abused and neglected children who are in our world and pray for all abused and neglected animals and for all those who suffer violence, both here and abroad. May we offer our prayers to Almighty God and ask that his peace and blessing would rest upon all those who serve in our armed forces, that being protected by his holy angels, that they may come back unto their families safe and sound. And may we pray for all who are present and for all our loved ones whose faith and devotion are known to you for whom we offer or who offer to you the sacrifice of praise for themselves and all their own for the hope of salvation and deliverance and who freely choose to serve you the living eternal and true god we join in communion with and honor above all others the memory of mary the glorious virgin mother of our lord and god jesus christ also your blessed apostles, martyrs, and confessors, together with all the countless number of saintly men and women of all nations, but especially of our nation, who lived, suffered, and died for the glory of your name and the coming of your kingdom. May the remembrance of these praiseworthy people encourage us to follow their heroic example, making us worthy of your grace and love through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to graciously accept our offering of that of your whole family, and so order our days in your peace, that we may be saved from spiritual damnation and counted among the flock of your chosen people, through Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, we ask you to bless, to accept, and to confirm this offering and make it pleasing unto yourself, 
so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before his suffering and death, in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples and through them to all who would believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful and save them. He instituted these holy mysteries in which spiritually and bodily in his entire being, he again lives among his people. At that solemn moment so sacred for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands and having lifted his eyes to heaven, to you God, his almighty Father, and giving thanks to you, he blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. In like manner, after supper, taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, again giving thanks to you, he blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal testament of faith, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, our Lord, in his blessed passion, resurrection, and his glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty, from your own gifts and presence, a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life, and a chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy, and accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant Abel the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which a high priest Melchizedek offered you, a holy sacrifice and immaculate host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar into the presence of your divine majesty, that we who receive the most sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ our Lord, amen. Lord, remember your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and who now sleep in peace. To these souls, Lord, in all rest in Christ, grant we pray a place of refreshment, light, and peace through the same Christ our Lord, amen. And grant us your sinful servants who hope in the greatness of your mercy so part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs and with your saints who shed their blood for your name. Their hearts were always open to justice and mercy and with lives patterned after their divine master merited eternal joy. Number us in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses through Christ our Lord, amen. By whom you always create, sanctify, revive, bless, and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, in him. All honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father, in the unity with the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Forever and ever, Amen. let us pray. Instructed by our Savior's teaching and him following the divine example, we say with confidence, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us 
our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil Deliver us, Lord, from all evils, past, present, and future. And by the intercession of the blessed and glorious Mother of God, Mary, together with your blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, and also Andrew, and all the saints, grant us peace in our day, that being supported by the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin and secure from all disturbance. Through the same Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, Forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. May this commingling and consecration of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ help us who receive it to everlasting life. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church, and vouchsafe to grant it peace and unity according to your holy will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free us from all our sins and from every evil. Keep us faithful to your teaching and never let us be parted from you. Who lives and reigns, God forever and ever. Amen. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not because for our judgment or condemnation, though we are unworthy to receive this great sacrament through your loving kindness may become our safeguard and healing remedy. Our saving master awaken in us living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and a holy longing. Through this communion, make us your willing servants, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite us entirely with you, our Lord and our God. Grant us who lives and reigns with God the Father in unity with the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. We will take the bread of heaven and we will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. My brothers and sisters, prior to the reception of the Blessed Sacrament, let us pause for a moment and offer the act of spiritual communion. Let us pray. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. Inflame my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. Amen. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. What shall I return unto the Lord for all the graces he hath rendered unto me? I will take the chalice of salvation, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. With high praise will I call upon him, and I shall be saved from all my enemies. 
May the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, Lord. I am not worthy to receive you, but I say a word and I shall be healed. Receive the body and the blood of Christ. Amen. Amen. received unto our lips, may we precede mentally, and may this temporal gift become to us an everlasting healing. May your body, O Lord, which I have received, and your blood, which I have drunk, cling to my innermost being, and grant that no sin remain in me who lives and reigns with God the Father in the unity with the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen.
Witness to Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. God our Father, through the grace of this Holy Eucharist, may we embrace your word in our hearts. Help us to grow in faith, hope, and love as we journey on the way to your kingdom. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, and art one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Go, the sacrifice is offered. May the tribute of our worship be pleasing to you, most holy Trinity. Grant that the sacrifice which I, though unworthy, have offered up into the sight of your majesty be acceptable to you. Through your mercy, may it be effective for ourselves and for all those for whom we have offered it. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the almighty and merciful God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was in God's presence, and the Word was God. He was present to God in the beginning. Through Him all things came into being, and apart from Him nothing came to be. Whatever came to be in Him found the life. Life of the light of men. The light shines on in the darkness, a darkness that did not overcome it. There was a man named John sent by God who came as a witness to testify to the light so that through him all might believe, but only to testify to the light for he himself was not the light. The real light which gives light to every man was coming into the world. He was in the world and through him the world was made, yet the world did not know who he was. To his own he came, yet his own did not accept him. Any who did accept him he empowered to become children of God. These are they who believe in his name who are begotten not by blood, nor by carnal desire, nor by man's willing it, but by God. The Word became flesh, and made his dwelling among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory of an only Son coming from the Father, filled with enduring love. Thanks be to God. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And for the repose of the souls of all our faithful departed loved ones, eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. May they all rest in peace. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. 